Look at this beautiful looking bottle gourd plant. Perfect size. Ready for planting out. Not too tall and not too lanky. Yes, perfect. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Shall we start planting? Let's start doing it, Dad. Let's start gardening. Today is the 22nd of May, 2022, and it's such a beautiful, glorious day. It's time to start planting your deshi vegetables out into the ground. Hello, everyone, and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja, assalamu alaikum. So without further ado, Dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. Look at this beautiful plant here. That, that looks really healthy, this plant, and Ma it has grown really fast. I'm looking forward to showing everyone how to uh, plant this bottle gourd out into the ground. Okay, so planning is everything. So this trail is behind me here. This trail is on my, on my side. We built that two weeks ago and uh, we're hoping to get our bottle gourd plants to trail on this trailies. Now I've already planted one, one bottle gourd here last week and it's the second one we're going to uh, dig a hole and plant it about here. So we're getting two bottle gourd to trail onto this trailies. And on the centre here I have a metal cage. And I'm thinking of planting two cis in the plant, two snake gourd. So the idea is you keep all your tall plants at the back and in the front you can plant smaller plants. You could do lettuce, you could do aubergines, aubergine, chili plants, radish. These are the bitter gourd These plants. These are the bitter gourd, yes. So maybe we can put two bitter gourd plant on this cage here. So if you put one here and one on the other side. One on the other side and that would trail onto this cage. Your planting would be late in the afternoon uh, when the sun is not too hot. Or on a cloudy day. Or in a cloudy day. Dig a hole in the ground larger than the root ball of the plant. And make sure there's lots of organic matter into your ground. Now I've added uh, farmyard manure um, end of the last season, uh, last autumn. There's, so there's plenty of organic matter in this ground. If you haven't prepared your ground early enough, you could add chicken manure pellet. That's, it, it will work as a slow release organic fertilizer. Or you could use farmyard manure. So let's just... Just create a hole large enough for the root ball to go inside. Dad, today is extremely hot. It's extremely hot, yes. And we have guests coming to our house today. We have, so we have to do this quickly. So... That should be large enough. That should be large enough. Just add some chicken manure pellets. And add a handful of chicken manure pellet in the bottom of the hole. Pass me some farmyard manure. The plant loves this type of stuff. Yeah. So lots of organic matter to the ground. Bottle gourds are high feeders, so you have to feed them regularly. They're vine plants, so they trail and they trail vigorously. So they need lots of nitrogen to begin with. Okay, so carefully take the root ball out. Wow, look at those roots. That's beautiful. The plant wants to grow. It wants to grow, yes. You're growing very fast. Yes. <laughs> I've noticed last few couple of months you've grown really fast. That's what everybody keeps telling me. So put lots of um, farmyard manure around the root ball. Make sure it's well-rotted manure. The worms love well-rotted manure. Just bury it again. So bury the root ball now. 
the spoon with that. Okay. So I'm gonna see what we're doing. We use all organic products in our garden. Things like fish, uh, fish blood and bone, which is organic. Chicken manure pellet. Chicken pellets. manure pellet. Farmyard manure. Farmyard manure. And this is a Miracle Grow Performance Organic Fertilizer. Now, I don't, I don't normally use Miracle Grow Fertilizer, but this is the organic product, and I'm using this for the first time. And the NPK is 855, 855. which is really good uh, for your bottle has, board, especially at the beginning. It has it, a lot of nitrogen yeah, in it. Yeah, lots of nitrogen. Um, and it says you should add this about every four to five weeks. Now I'm going to start the bottle gourd with this. And when the plant trails onto the plant and start fruiting, I'm going to use organic tomato uh, liquid and fertilizer. fertilizer. And that would has, have high potassium and uh, phosphorus in it. So plant. at early stage you want to use something has more nitrogen. So this one has eight. Eight five five. Eight five five. So eight nitrogen. Uh, percent nitrogen, five percent phosphorus, and five percent potassium. So as the plant trails onto the uh, trellis and it starts fruiting, I'm going to use a high potash tomato fertilizer, a liquid fertilizer. I'm going to use about two handful. It's about 50 grams, and I'm going to and sort of spread them. Spread it around, Dad. Spread it around, not too close to the plant, because there's a root going to spread. Keep it Now, once you have spread your slow-release organic fertilizer using a fork it in. Now, I know many of you, many of you don't like uh, using animal products. Uh, that's fine. Uh, all natural organic products are made from animal waste, natural stuff. You could use something like Grow more, which is a balanced fertilizer, is inorganic but is a good fertilizer. It uh, has an NPK of 777, so it's a balanced it's fertilizer. A uh, add this onto the around the base of the <coughs> every four to five weeks, and that should be fine. Maybe when it's actively growing every three weeks. This. I'll put one here. That's it. Let me just put this one Over here. there. Yeah. All right, hopefully. Now you need to train this plant to climb up this bamboo stick so that it climbs to the trellis. Okay, okay, it's your time. It's your turn to water the do plant. Do my favorite part. Yes, do your favorite part. Watering the plant. Water the plant. I need to give plenty, place. it's a really hot day today. Give a good drink uh, when you're first studying your plants. Okay, do slowly, Akif, do slowly, slowly. Guys, don't forget to spread a slug killer granulus on the base of your plant. The cheeky slugs love coming out when it rains and they love eating up your beautiful and delicate plants. So don't forget to protect your plants from the cheeky slugs. Now, th there's so many products that you can buy from uh, uh, from your local um, garden centres and internet, Google it and uh, find a suitable uh, slug killer for yourself. Now we're using a uh, slug killer granula. This is um, it doesn't harm your plants and it doesn't harm your pets or children. So we're going to spread some around the base. And this is another good one. This is a slug defence plant spray. So if you spray this one, your slugs uh, it deters the slugs going into your plant. So if you use spraying, uh, spray it in the night time. When planting your bitter gourd, snake gourd, cucumbers, plant them exactly how we planted our, our bottle gourd. They're, they're from the same gourd families. So they, they, they like lots of organic matter. 
and they're very high feeders. So feed them regularly with organic uh, uh, fertilizer. We really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and share our videos with friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Asalaamu Alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, Aki, we have lots of work to do. So yes, Dad. Shall we plant this beautiful uh, bit of gourd here? Yes, let's so do it. Just move this. Can we try this? Yeah. I keep it high. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I